Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and in today's video, which is the last video in my Pride Month manga recommendations, I'm actually going to be having a conversation about bisexuality in manga because honestly when it came down to actually going through my entire manga collection and picking out the series that explicitly have characters that are bisexual, it became very very tough. When I took the time to go through my manga collection, honestly, I found it very challenging because some of them do have portrayals of maybe not explicitly open bisexuality, but I just don't like the way it's portrayed within the manga. And even some of my favorite series have that same problem. Uh, for some reason, a lot of times when they portray a character liking both male and females, it's almost like no, that's not a possibility. Like, there's no way I can like both males and females. Like, it's crazy. For example, we see this in Sasaki and Miyano, and I did mention this in my BL manga recommendations, but Miyano has this whole internal dilemma that he can't like Sasaki because he's a guy and he used to have a crush on a girl. And it just, bisexuality is just never presented as an option. Like he's just suffering there, super confused because he had a crush on a girl. So that's just one example. I love mix up. I feel like they could have actually like been like, hey, I'm bisexual because, I mean, the whole premise of this story, you have a guy who has a Christian and girl, then there's this whole confusion and he thinks that he likes him and then he actually ends up liking him and he ends up liking him. So it was honestly the perfect setup for, hey, I'm a proud bisexual character. Once he realizes that he has romantic feelings for Ida, the possibility of him being bisexual just kind of just goes out the window. In my eyes, he's 100% bisexual. From there, I started pulling out the series where I know that there's a character that is actually bisexual, one of them being given. So we have Akihiko who dates women and also males as well. I mean, in volume five, you get to see his very tumultuous relationship with Ugetsu depicted in this. So 100% confirmed bisexual. Great. <laughs> So we have one representation of a bisexual character. The second series I found in my collection that depicts a bisexual character is Therapy Game, and Therapy Game happens to be one of my favorite BL series. So in this series, we have Shizuma who is bisexual, and he's actually he's actually quite proud of it too, which is very very different from the other series that I found in my collection. So he's very proud. He dated a woman. He ended things with that woman, like they, what they had when it was good, it was good. Now he's moving on to his relationship with Minato, which is absolutely beautiful. That's why it's one of my favorite BL stories. But his bisexuality always comes back to haunt him because Minato is so insecure that one day Shizuma is going to leave him for a woman. So that's why like, I have conflicting thoughts about the way bisexuality is presented in uh, in the stories where I know there's characters that are bisexual. And that's where I have an issue because we could easily have a proud bisexual character that enjoyed having relationships with females and now is enjoying his relationship with a male, but instead his bisexuality is used as drama um, to convey uncertainty and just doubt in his romantic partner. And that also can be seen in Only the Flower Knows, which I also love. It's one of my favorite BL series. So Arikawa dates a girl in the series, then their relationship, you know, fizzles out, and then he gets into a relationship with Misaki. I'm not gonna remember every character, but thankfully it's written in the back. So his bisexuality also is used as drama, just causing uncertainty, like, is he gonna leave me for a girl? Who knows? <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's just one of those things like I could easily, and these are all great series, like I highly recommend Given's one of my favorite series, Only the Flower Knows, amazing, therapy game, incredible, my love mix up, I absolutely love two pieces, but it's the way they depict bisexuality where my gripe is because I look through my BL collection, I look through my GL collection, I have a very small shelf with like other LGBTQIA manga. 
I could not find one where bisexuality is just portrayed as something that is valid, normal, and not used for like drama. As I was searching through Google, it was either bisexuality used for drama, as in the case of the BLs that I just mentioned, or as a potential like love triangle. So again, I'm personally not super happy with bisexuality being portrayed in either of those ways because it's a very valid and a very common sexual identity. Like, I'm pretty sure there has to be manga series in Japan that portray bisexuality as a valid option and in a positive light. I just haven't seen them make their way to like an English-speaking audience and I would love to see that because over the course of anime and manga history I mean there's been positive portrayals of bisexual characters even in like shoujo manga. Shoujo manga we have Sailor Moon who I mean Naoko Takeuchi doesn't explicitly make her say she's bisexual but you can see that she has romantic feelings for both males, tuxedo mask, and she does find a lot of women attractive and that is written in the manga. In Cardcaptor Sakura, there are two portrayals of bisexual characters. We have Sakura's brother Toya, and we also have Sharon as well, who is bisexual. In Revolutionary Girl Utena, we have Utena, who's also bisexual as well. So we can see these depictions like very early on in manga and anime history. I just would like to keep seeing those positive portrayals of bisexual characters in this day and age. So yeah, this was not much of a recommendation video as a, just a conversational video. Um, if you guys know of any other series that are available either uh, digitally or printed in English that actually portray bisexuality in a positive light, please let me know in the comments because I would love to check them out. But out of my 1000 plus <laughs> volumes of manga, these were some of the ones with confirmed bisexual characters. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the way they use bisexuality within the series. Um, Last Gender does have a bisexual character. This one, I did make a whole dedicated video. That one actually does do a very good job, but it does a great job with all the other identities that are portrayed within the series. I don't know if any people that work for manga publishers happen to be watching this video, but if I'm speaking to one of you, please license some manga depicting bisexual characters in a positive light. I would love to see it and I know there's people out there that would love to read it as well. So this is my plea to you guys. There's been so many positive strides when it comes to queer manga. There's a great variety of BL and GL manga. We're getting more manga with trans characters licensed in English, non-binary characters, asexual characters but I would love to see more bisexual characters portrayed in a positive light. So this is my plea to you. <laughs> I'm sure everyone watching agrees as well. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you have any manga recommendations with bisexual characters portrayed in a good light, please drop them in the comments because I would love to know and I'm sure other people would love to know as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. I really enjoyed making these videos and interacting with the comment section. So it was a lot of hard work, but it was good work. Like, I feel very proud to actually have put all these videos out. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe to keep up with my content and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Happy Pride!